Hi, my name is Matt Dunford. I'm a PhD sponsored athlete. Uh, this is my video blog number two. Um, today we're going to be speaking about sponsorship. Um, how do you get sponsored by a company like PhD? Um, they receive hundreds of emails every month from uh, potential models, gym goers, bodybuilders, lots of different people that think they deserve a sponsorship, that think they can represent the brand you know, really well. Um, but what can you do to actually separate yourself from everyone else and get noticed and uh, potentially get that sponsorship? Um, the first thing you need to do, you need to ask yourself, why do you actually want to be sponsored? You need to have an understanding of why you really, really want that sponsorship to then actually come across to PhD that you actually deserve it. So you need to be passionate about PhD, you need to have done your research of the products, the actual company, and even use the products over the over the years. So so you actually are, you know, you do have an understanding of what the company's about and where they are going forward. Um, once you've established why you actually want to be sponsored, you then need a plan. You need a plan of how you're going to get yourself known. So how you're going to build build that awareness of yourself for the company to think you can actually benefit them going forward. So me personally, I, I entered fitness competitions. I've competed in Europe, Paris, Iceland, in America, Miami, Vegas. So I've got my face seen by a lot of people. Also my, my profession, I'm a personal trainer and I work in London in some commercial gyms. So you know, my face is probably getting seen weekly by thousands of people. So if I'm associated with PhD and I'm a professional, presentable individual, then I'm a good representative for PhD. So you need to make sure you know you can do that and that you can drive awareness to the brand to then potentially you know drive product sales for actually for PhD. That's what it's all about. Um, so once you once you've done that, and if you think you you can represent the brand well, you need to structure a letter. You need to actually you know structure a letter that's going to stand out because if they're getting hundreds of letters you don't want to just write an essay that you know they're not going to want to read so you've got to be concise you've got a really bullet point why you can represent that the brand why you're better than you know the guy next to you um, another thing references try and get references from you know key people in the fitness industry so I mean I got I got references from some of the top photographers um, organizations you know Musclemania WBFF try and speak to the directors if you have competed in them before try and get a reference get them to say that you did you did compete and you were professional you know this this is what companies like PhD that's what they're looking for they want to know that you are going to be an awesome representative for that brand and it's going to set you apart from someone that's less professional that hasn't hasn't gone to that extra effort to get that reference um, then videos photos you know look at your photos look at your videos and look at don't look at the ones where you're just most ripped or most muscular look at the ones that are most commercial and and send those so you know it's not about how how good your abs are it's about how the company can could use you and um, yeah just make sure you get videos as well because people don't want to just see people in photos or or on email they want to see actually how you can represent in person you know if you're walking in the street and someone came up to you and said oh you're sponsored by PhD can you give me some advice they want to know that you can actually do that professionally so yeah so once you've done that structure your letter if you've got anyone that works in maybe recruitment or is in management that interviews people um, maybe they can give you some advice on how your letter's looking to make sure it's, it's professional and um, yeah then you need to you just need to you need to send your letter and, uh, and hopefully hopefully you get a reply uh, if you do get a reply and you are successful, they'll probably invite you to a meeting. Um, you know, during this meeting, it's a very informal meeting, but it'll give you a chance to really let the company know, PhD know how you can how you can uh, represent them going forward. And um, it also gives you a chance to to meet meet the company and make sure they're right for you as well, because it's it's not necessarily works both ways. Um, yeah. So then, uh, and then that's it. And then. Uh, Fingers crossed, you get you get sponsorship. But you know the bottom line is you've got to make sure you're passionate about PhD. Don't just apply to all the companies. You know, make sure you've done your research and it's a company that you can see yourself working with in the future. Cool, thanks.